Dear feminists, because I advocate for equal legal rights, you say I'm a feminist based on a dictionary definition that uses the word equality. However, based on its history, I say feminism fails to live up to that description. For example, U.S. feminists lobbied to replace existing gender-neutral family violence law with a gender-discriminatory version. In 1978, feminists described family violence to Congress as male-perpetrated, female-suffered behavior. Quote, As Susan Brown Miller wrote in her book, Against Our Will, Men, Women, and Rape, as the first permanent acquisition of man, his first piece of real property, woman was, in fact, the original building block, the cornerstone of the house of the father. Man's forcible extension of his boundaries to his mate and later to their offspring was the beginning of his concept of ownership. In fact, studies have shown that wife abuse has its roots in the very structure of society and the family where the husband is expected to play the role of leader. If this position is threatened, many men fall back on their ultimate resource of physical force. The widespread existence of wife-beating today underscores the fact that these societal expectations are still prevalent. Page 60, Hearings Before the House of Representatives Subcommittee on Select Education, 95th Congress, Second Session, on H.R. 7927 and 8948. They went on to petition Congress to reserve victim services and funding for only female victims and their children. To that end, they lied about the prevalence of male victims and female perpetrators, including lying about Aaron Pitsy's work. They used statistics garnered from research that used creative framing to avoid evidence of male victims and female perpetrators. Feminist researchers define the same actions taken for the same reasons differently depending on whether a man or a woman did them. A man who hit because he felt disrespected was a coercive and controlling abuser. A woman who hit because she felt disrespected was a victim engaging in preemptive self-defense. When researcher Murray Strauss described this and other issues with feminist research on partner violence, feminists attacked both his work and his reputation. While using the same slippery framing as their argument against taking his findings into consideration, the Family Violence Prevention and Services Act of 1984 established and funded victims' programs and shelters. This first non-discriminatory law was not what feminists wanted. They continued lobbying for gendered family violence law until they got it in the 1994 Violence Against Women Act, which reserved victim services and shelters for women and their young children. The law also created training for law enforcement, prosecutors, and court personnel to treat family violence as a male crime against female victims, and funding for research on the now female-only shelters, which would by design avoid finding evidence of male victims and female perpetrators to build a body of evidence supporting keeping its application gendered. In other words, feminists deliberately and successfully lobbied to marginalize male victims of female violence. What part of that do you think constitutes equality? I am not a feminist because I oppose law and policy which discriminate against men on women's behalf.